Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is August 1st, 2024, and we've got a lot to cover. From developer frustrations with Apple Arcade, to new AI initiatives, and the latest in mobile processors, we've got all the tech news you need. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Game developers are increasingly frustrated with Apple Arcade, describing their experience as akin to an abusive relationship. Initially profitable, the service has seen reduced upfront payments and a shrinking per-play bonus pool, causing financial instability for smaller studios. Developers report delayed payments, sometimes taking up to six months, and poor communication from Apple, with responses often taking weeks. Technical support has also been criticized as miserable. The launch of the Apple Vision Pro has added to developers' woes. The headset struggles with complex games, and Apple engineers are reportedly unable to provide necessary technical insights. Developers feel unsupported, especially when creating new games for the Vision Pro, as Apple does not guarantee promotion or compensation for these projects. While some acknowledge that Apple Arcade has been crucial for their existence, they believe Apple lacks a clear vision for the gaming sector. Apple's Safari browser, marketed as a private browsing option, has come under scrutiny, While Safari offers several automatic privacy protections, experts suggest it may not be the best choice for maximum privacy. Albert Fox Khan from the Surveillance Technology Oversight Project ranks Safari as only the fourth best browser for privacy, recommending alternatives like Firefox, Brave, or Tor. Safari effectively blocks third-party cookies, but still allows other forms of tracking, such as device fingerprinting. Critics argue that other browsers provide stronger protections against such tracking methods. Safari's private mode does not save browsing history, but does not fully shield users from being tracked by websites or internet service providers. AMD has launched its new Zen 5 mobile processors, known as Ryzen AI 300, StrixPoint, featuring enhanced GPU capabilities and a more powerful NPU. The Ryzen AI 9 HX370, part of this new lineup, operates within a TDP range of 15 to 54 watts and is designed to replace previous performance classes. The new processors utilize a monolithic design with a 4 nanometer FinFET process and include both full-fledged Zen 5 cores and less powerful Zen 5C cores. In performance benchmarks, the Ryzen AI 9 HX370 shows significant improvements over its predecessors, outperforming older Ryzen 8000 CPUs and competing closely with Intel's Meteor Lake processors. However, it still trails behind Apple's M3 chips in both performance and efficiency. The efficiency of the new Ryzen processors is commendable, but there remains potential for further optimization. Apple has decided to utilize Google's Tensor Processing Units, TPUs, for training its AI models, moving away from NVIDIA GPUs. This shift was highlighted in a recent research paper from Apple, which detailed the hardware and software infrastructure for its AI tools. For its AI models, Apple employed 2048 TPU 5P chips for iPhones and 8192 TPU V4 processors for server models. Apple's AI initiative, named Apple Intelligence, is set to begin beta testing this week. Despite Nvidia's dominance in the AI chip market, controlling about 80% of it, the company's stock has recently faced declines. Analysts predict substantial investments in AI infrastructure, estimating around $1 trillion in spending over the next year, but express uncertainty about the financial returns from such investments. As the Apple Card approaches its five-year anniversary, there are calls for a revamp, especially with Goldman Sachs set to exit its partnership with Apple. Suggestions for improvements include expanding the 3% cashback category to include grocery stores and increasing the cashback rate on Apple purchases from 3% to 4%. The physical titanium card currently offers only 1% cashback, and raising this to 1.5% could incentivize its use. Shimmer, Meditate and Relax is an app designed to improve sleep, reduce stress, and enhance focus through a variety of soundscapes. It offers ambient sounds, binaural beats, and white noise, making it ideal for meditation and relaxation. Key features include a range of relaxing sounds, calming animations, an audio mixer for customizing sound settings, and a sleep timer. Sports Party is a new fitness game designed to make workouts enjoyable and engaging. It transforms exercise into fun mini-games, 
allowing players to complete their daily exercise tasks while competing with others online. The game utilizes advanced AI technology to track players' movements, making their bodies the controllers, and requires no additional equipment, just a smartphone or tablet. InstaApply is a new Chrome extension designed to streamline the job application process by automating submissions. The extension utilizes AI technology to analyze resumes and automatically fill out job application forms, significantly reducing the time and effort required for job hunting. InstaApply supports various job boards, including LinkedIn, Indeed, and Greenhouse, enabling users to apply to multiple jobs with a single click. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on everything Apple. Have a great day.